Hello everyone. Welcome to today's reflection. Today's reflection is from the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 14 from verses 13 to 14. Let's hear the reading of God's word. And Moses said to the people of Israel, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians you see today, you shall never again see them no more. The Lord will fight for you, and you will hold your peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, friends, the background to this story is that the children of Israel have lived under slavery in Egypt for over 490 years. And God raised up a leader in the name of Moses to deliver them from that bondage. Moses has successfully uh, convinced Pharaoh to take the children of Israel out of Egypt. Now, as they moved out of Egypt, they went into the wilderness and they were going to Canaan, the promised land. When they got to the Red Sea, or the Red Sea, the sea was full to the brim and they couldn't cross so they turned to Moses and they began to complain to him what have you done to us you should have left us in the slavery you should have left us in Egypt you should have left us to work for Pharaoh at least we would have had some food to eat and Pharaoh will look after us but now look you have brought us out of of that situation and we can't even cross this Red Sea Brothers and sisters, when that happened, the children of Israel were complaining to Moses. So Moses turned to God and he prayed. After Moses prayed to God, God asked him to tell the children of Israel, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish to you today. For the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. Brothers and sisters, I'm here today to encourage you. Whatever it is that represents Egypt in your life, whatever it is that represents pain, whatever it is that represents crisis, whatever it is that represents challenges and troubling circumstances, I'm here to tell you today, God has sent me to announce to you today that stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For whatever it is that you are facing, you shall not face it anymore. For the Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace. Brothers and sisters, when the children of Israel complained to Moses, after Moses had prayed to God, God told him to encourage the children of Israel. After that, God told him to put his rod and stretch it on the the Red Sea. As Moses stretched his rod on the Red Sea, a sea that was full to the brim. Moses stretched his rod and the sea was parted. And the children of Israel went through the sea on a dry ground in the midst of the sea. Brothers and sisters, this is a great miracle. God can make the impossible possible. We serve a God of possibilities. We do not serve a God of impossibilities. If there is anything that represents Egypt chasing after you, if there is any problem chasing after you, like Pharaoh and his army was chasing after the Israelite, I want to promise you today, I want to give you an encouragement today, that anything that is chasing after you, God will deliver you from it. God will send his angel to deliver you from that trouble, to deliver you from that crisis, to turn that hopeless situation around. The only thing you have to do is to hold your peace and see the salvation of God, which he will show to you today. For anything that represents Egypt, you shall not see them anymore. So whatever it is you are going through today, my brother, my sister, my friend, whatever it is you are going through today, as God parted the Red Sea for the children of Israel to go through a dry ground in the midst of the sea, that same God, 
will deliver you from your troubles. That same God will deliver you from your crisis. That same God will deliver you from your marriage issues, from your children issues, from the unemployment that you are facing, for financial crisis. I pray that God will deliver you from that. He has done it before. He has not gone on leave. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. God will deliver you and you will hold your peace. For the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. For the problem you see today, for the challenges you see today, for the crisis you see today, for the sickness you are see seeing, for the pain that you are going through, you will see them no more because the Lord will fight for, for you. God Almighty will fight for you and you will hold your peace and you will see the deliverance of God. God is able to turn every hopeless situation around. He did it for the children of Israel and he will do it for you. Brothers and sisters, all you have to do if you are not a Christian is to come to him. Come to him for he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever that believes in him may not perish but have eternal life. If you want to be sure of this deliverance I'm talking about today, if you want to be sure of the salvation I'm talking about today, if you want to be sure that you will be able to have how God delivered the children of Israel from the hands of the Egyptians, then all you need to do is to acknowledge Jesus Christ into your life. Accept that he came to die for your sins. Accept that in your life. If you don't know how to do that, look for the church. There are churches up and down the country we are about to open. Look for any clergy. Go to them and ask them that you want to know God. You want to know Jesus Christ. They will lead you to Jesus and you will be able to have this deliverance I'm talking about. If you live in the Southern and Eastwood area, pick up the phone and call me. I will lead you to Jesus Christ. And whatever that you are going through, whatever challenge, whatever pain, whatever crisis, whatever problem that you are facing, my God will lift it up from you. My God will lift that burden from your shoulders. My God will deliver you from the devil, from what the enemy has planned for you. My God will deliver you from it. And all shall be well with you. All you need to do is to go to that telephone telephone and pick up the phone and ring me if you live in the south end and eastwood area i will lead you to jesus christ i will introduce you to that man that man that when you meet everything about you will change every troubling circumstances about your life will change and your life will be transformed for the better your life will be transformed for good your family your friends everything around you will be successful and it will be good all you have to do is to submit to jesus Ask him to come into your life and be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, God will deliver you from every troubling circumstances that you are going through. And all shall be well with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>